So, a few days ago, I made a drawing of my Twitter handle, literally, because my Twitter's Vukata Dogbox, and someone commented, Those eyes look like she's staring down Smokey the Bear, about to start a fire in California. She already got the stick on fire, like, take one more step, yo, I dare ya! Oh my god! People, welcome back to my channel, and it's freaking dark here. I do not like it, and I'm gonna die. I don't understand why. Uh, so today I thought I'd share ten things you probably don't know or must know about MI because why the heck not? And much of you guys wanted me to do more Monster Islands video, so uh, yeah. Um, these might be not accurate, these might be not accurate, because I'm not a professional MI player in any way, and I'm also gonna mine some glacial crystals, crystals, Christian, crystals, I can't speak, while I'm at it, so, I guess I could say, like, you know, I'm not a professional, I just wanna share these things while, like, while I'm at MI. And that would be like sort of helpful if you want to stop Monster Islands for the first time. So let's get started. Someone's trying to murder me. This is not how it's supposed to go. The first thing I guess I can say is that Monster Islands is not really an easy game. Okay, well if you go to Block State Islands, then yes, it's easy. But as you progress to the islands and in the quests, it gets harder. I'll talk about that one, like, soon. It, the reason why it gets harder, I think if you guys, like, play Monster Islands for a long time, then it's basically, like, the boss is, like, the elves, and then how daggy it gets, they get. Uh, so I guess that's, like, one thing to know. Um, the other thing to know is that Monster Islands is actually very addicting. <laughs> like, I almost no life this the whole day and it was I couldn't help myself. It was just a really fun game. And not all the quests in this game they require like boss killing. There's actually like material collecting and it's normal to happen. Like for example I'm gonna think of one like months no uh the Christmas event with snowman and you have to collect materials all the time. And, and there are festivities where you collect like things as well. So it's not all like boss killing, so yeah. But yeah, it's, it's like, some of it's like boss killing, so it is. And I don't know, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm probably gonna say this like a million times during this video. Another thing is that, um, certain items drop, drop rate is like, it varies. Um, I think I know for how long I get dropped, there's like a 10% dropage, which is really rare. Monster Islands holds like seasonal events, mostly around like Christmas, Halloween, or Easter. They're super fun to do. It's slightly time consuming and difficulty depends. But I really love seasonal events because of the weapons and the how the quest goes. It's sometimes a bit funny, it's not. Not all of like Monster Islands is so serious as you kill, but there's some humor. I really like the Christmas event because it's so cute and not cute, I would say. It's just hilarious. Just Snowman just steals the show. The weapons you pick out, um, I you have to think twice before you pick out certain weapons because uh, there's some weapons that are pretty good, some weapons that like doesn't suit you well. And could be super like someone else. So I mean, I choose ran random weapons just because of the ammo. But then I realized, like, I learned that it depends on how good the weapon is, not just about like the ammo or like the design of it. You trade a lot in this game, and you have to be actually careful when you trade because if you trade with a random person, you don't know who you're trading with. To in terms of like, you know, if they're gonna scam you or not because sadly scamming happens a lot in games even Pokemon Brick Bonds, they're scamming and trading so my number one recommendation is to just trade with the person you trust or so 
or like trade with like your friends or so it's a way that um, you know like they're not gonna trick you or so unless something does happen and yeah that could be a problem when you're um, mining you have to be like extra 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 careful because killing happens a lot in play versus player to me I don't go in PvP that much because I'm not that interested. Also, I die very easily. Um, but I, the only thing I gotta say is just, just be extra prepared, just in case like someone decides to attack you from behind and just take your place. And it's the most annoying thing. I cannot like wrap my head around that. Another thing to keep in mind of is I think this goes with like other games, not just Moss Islands. It's just just um updates do happen. They take a while, so um I guess patience is the key. I understand like like big games have to go through a lot of updates. Maybe because it's like a big team also, I mean, and it takes like a lot of time. If it's like one person working on the game, and it's like more 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 time and that's pretty annoying that's why you need a team and teamwork is the key the final thing to keep in mind about monster island is just you got to have lots of fun it's not about being serious like yes there is some serious parts but um overall it is a ridiculously uh addicting game to play it also has helped me improve on like reaction times or um when i'm like fighting in an island and improve my skills like with malaise it may help for like the future as well if i want to play like keep like fighting games and yes i am an aspiring action fighter but not a professional one i, I just like action fighting games in general and i never really like role playing games because they were a bit boring to me, <laughs> just my opinion, okay? And I guess that's 10 things that you should know about Monster Islands. And just keep in mind again, I am not a professional and I play, I'm even not an admin, like, like, does it look like I'm an admin of Monster Islands? No, I'm just a regular player who just wants to have fun in Monster Island and meet some of you guys uh, in Monster Island. I love meeting you guys in Monster Island, it's just makes my day. And um, let me know in the comments down below which video you want to see in the future. It could be like any video as long as it's not like something dumb and make me break the rules or so. And if you're interested in playing Monster Islands, I will leave a link down below so you guys should go check it out. You should play it! Best game! 10 out of 10! Okay, bye!